Alright, let's leave Deep Secrets of the Earth. Go! And we are going to... Do this quest. You know, she's fine. <laughs> so... Alright. We're doing the end game, guys. We're going to jump right into Deep Secrets of the Earth. And then I think I'm just going to go right through and finish this game. I don't know if you, all of you guys will be here watching all the way through, but let's hope. Hopefully we get some closure. And then I'll knock off all the rest of the side quests. Clarify that. And once you clarify that, then uh, we'll that woman said to meet her head on in. Tent down in the camp. Might be worth a visit. What are we doing? Dropping down the ledge? Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, hold on. There we go. Oh, right, um... The point of no return. But even still, you can do missions, like side quests, after the main missions are done, so... I don't have to stress too much about trying to get them all done quickly. Alrighty. Let's do this then. Cool. Fair enough. Well, thanks. Well, then I'll just finish the main game and then we'll uh, clean up all the quests. I'm bursting with anticipation. I want to see what the uh, end game results in. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this oh, I'm world. sick of your shit, Selene. Where the machines came from. Oh, Selene's. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls Whoa. I could not break. Nice. Doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. This is some cool oh, high tech shit. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you, malfunction. Me? you don't hear me laughing. It's always a malfunction. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! No power cell? Requesting okay. access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Oh, jeez. Yes. Emergency venting authorized. everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now we last i checked i was the one risking my life down here yeah it's fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped we will eventually find out where Silins is uh sitting around is it won't we because this dude has done nothing but sit around and just talk me through a holocom so all right shit there's a whole bunch of shit to explore here all right let's go explore some shit here what do we got Anything? Anything? No. Alrighty. Let's do some exploring. Unlockables. Anything? Nope. Yep, we've got to go there. Okay. Anything over here? Nope. Cool. Alrighty, what do we got? Oh. Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. We did. We found Zero I Dawn. I'm really so surprised. Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Let's take that. A couple of data points just to add to the notebook. Selection of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. Oh, well. 
I've had that there. Oh, yeah, about that. Into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. Anything here? Nope. Cool. So this is like an old unused lab or derelict lab now. Oh. What? What was this place? A holographic theater. CBN1 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating. Waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of zero dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Dark. Hmm. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. Yes. He said it, it could not be stopped. But it was. No, she somehow, didn't. Somehow Elizabeth saved us. Alright. I've, I've got to keep looking. My theory. Find out how she did it. Again, don't spoil it, just in case you know. But my theory, all humans are dead. And all these people are robots. But we're like the next generation of robots to wipe out the old generation of robots who are the ones that we keep seeing. So I think that all humans have ceased to exist. Because we, you know, Alloy and all the characters we meet are robots. Like androids. That's my theory. And she'll find out that she was a clone or a robot version of Elizabeth Sobet. So so and that's why they she looks it. like her. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Dark, Spread yeah. out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? So yeah, that's my theory. I... I feel like uh, we're all robots and all the humans have ceased to exist. Yeah, pretty dark. Huh. Man, especially with the uh, the corona climate we're living in, I'm playing a game about the end of human, or the end of humanity. <laughs> Be close to home, huh?
Whoa. Ooh. No, I'm not ignoring data points. I'm just trying to kill bad guys. Oh, shit. Shit. This guy's got a big machine gun. There we go. We're too close to the trap of printers to stop us now. The data points, what do they contain? Well, we'll start again. Hold on. Let me go back to the beginning of the mission. And we'll get all the data points. Relax, Sealens. We'll do this. One arrow, one headshot. Well, I know, but I can't aim. I need three to make sure it's uh, certainty. Can't aim. Anyway. Data points, data points. What does he want? He wants data points. Cool. An interview with Tom Peach. What's this? An interview with whatever. Tate. Travis Tate. Brand Andek. Uh... Nothing here, cool. Is this open? Nope. Okay. Jesus. Okay, we don't want to go through that door. We came from that door. Let's go in here. Any data points? There it is. That one there. And I think we came in through there. Data point. Alright, got that. I think that room's done. And then if we go back to the beginning. Here. Yep. Okay, we'll climb the ladder. We'll see what's up here. Come on. Get up there, Aloy. What are you doing? Come on. There we go. Data points. There we go. No space. No space, we'll make space. Cool. Alright, cool. I think we're ready to move on. We're gonna find out You've what heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Mm. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. 
Now, over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo, the vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. Wow, that's a lot to unpack. Jeez. All right. Fucking hell. So remade with computers or guy I've been the head AI who's yes. rebuilt the planet by a machine a machine of creation Elizabeth did this for life wow for us. but why Hades then if it was part of Gaia how did it end up in the wreckage of a feral robot and why does it want to kill me and Apollo the archive of knowledge what happened to that i'm as confused as you are maybe the answers lie ahead wow still so many questions i mean it answers some things but doesn't answer everything like for instance you know so the whole point of this automated system to rebuild the earth was to wipe out all the robots and then rebuild earth with all the humans except robots still exist so something kind of went wrong unless the robots were brought back by another part of the AI like Hades for instance he might have had a brain of his own and went we'll bring back the robots and continue the war wow let's get all these data points this is for like essential reading afterwards it's like when you go to university and they give you all these assignments afterwards and go, oh, here's all the essential reading. Here are the modules. Uh, so we're in the medical wing. Cool. Um, just here looting some crap. That's all. Don't mind. Um, oh, nice. What's that? Stranded shackles. What the hell is that? Huh. Cool. So we're gonna that's gonna buy us something. Trade that to a merchant for some shit. Can I break that? No, okay. Uh yep. So we need to go this way just to kind of suss out this room. Anything? Nope, oh, okay. Alrighty. What else have we got? So we came in through here. Yep, okay. We went that way. Let's go this way. Can't be too prepared. Yeah, can't be too prepared. It's gonna be a huge ass monster waiting for us, isn't there? Intruder! Oh. Get her! Okay, what one arrow to the head, huh? I know. Nope! 
One arrow to that's not working for me. Took him a few hits and I still I only got half his life down. Oh shit, three shots in anyway. Alrighty. Where are you? Alright, he's gone. Where are you? Oh! In the head, come on! Alright. Let's do that while we're here. Oh, got some level up. Nice. Okay. Get that loot. We did get that, right? Yeah, we got that. Cool. Um. This will be useful later. Uh, wait, what was that? Full health potion. Okay, let's uh, use. Oh, not that. This one. Cool. Let's pick that back up. All right. Cool. 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 Now we don't want to go to the next stage just yet. Let's just loot whatever else we got. Get some more data points. I think we came in. No, we came in through. No, oh, fuck, I can't remember. No, we came in through here. That's right. Gotcha. Came in through here. Let's go through here. We've already sorted out that left hand side. Yep. And we can't go straight because that door's closed. We can go here, loot his. No, not fire strike. I dump that shit. I want to lose body. Cool. All right. What do we got? Okay. Another locked door. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Another oh shit! Of Another one of these things. Need to find the right configuration. All right. There's a part missing. Maybe there's a storage area Hey, nearby. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to all storage right. for a new emitter, not me. I think I've got all the collectibles here. Alrighty. That was that upside down. Encryption port with holographic display. Data shows required settings for nearby hollow. Huh. Key component. Alright, cool. So I gotta grab that, don't I? All ah, right, get up there. Fucking Alright, let's try and get up there. And this door is definitely locked. Okay, there's no way to come in through that side, so it's gotta be all up here. Okay, so I can't turn these because that's missing, sure. Alright, let's try and figure this out. Oh wait, what was that? Okay, left. Easy. 
So, left, up, left, uh, down, right, okay. Okay, that's that. Check the door nearby. Cool. And then that will unlock this door, which then probably allows me to go up to the next level. Yep, cool. Alright. I was running around for no reason. I didn't see the answers on that board with all the arrows um, at, at first. And now for the oven. Nice. Go get that chef pie in there. Alright. Where are we going? Through that hole. Nothing else to see up here. Here we go. Emitter. Pick up. Looks intact. Alright, let's hover across here. Anything else? Nope. Cool. That should do the trick. Alrighty, what's this one? Now let's get that door open. Up left, down, right, up. So down, right, up. Hmm. Hang on. Because this thing's upside down. All right, I'll try and do it in reverse. Because the, the writing down there looks to be upside down. Maybe. Oh, so we'll go up. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I figured the thing was upside down, so we'll go down. I oh, say so up, so right. Oh, not that one. Alloy. I was facing the other one. This one. Okay. Then down, then left, then up. No? Read from the bottom and do the opposite. Oh, read from the bottom and do the opposite. So that's down. Okay. So this would be right. So this would be up. Then that would be right. But then that says up, so that would be down. That did it. Okay. Well done, Lay, thank you. Now to see what lies beyond it. Okay, where are we going now? Oh, back to the original door. Yes. Who comes up with these keys for these doors? Seriously. Okay. Do 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 do. Ah, oh, here we go. More men. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. Hmm. <laughs> Avoid contact. Ooh, can you reach it? No worries. Guess we're killing them. What do we got? We got one, two, oh. He's gonna go boom. Boom. Okay. Yes, three bars of medicine. And I was able, I've been able to fill it 
And look at this, I can't even pick up any more medicine. It's great. I can finally save up some medicine and not have to stress about running out of life. Someone slaughtered one of us. Ah. Uh, I mean, I can run, but what kind of running are we talking? I've outrun, well, I've outrun plenty of monsters, so we'll see. Uh-oh. What have we got? Big-ass monster, hey? How do I miss that? Cool. Room's clear. For a moment, anyway. For a moment? Let's do some looting. You have to find Gaia. Yeah, I'm gonna loot the bodies first. F off ceiling. I've got this. The next section is where you pick up the last power cell and that's giving you an easier time with the following section. Oh. Try me um, now. Okay. So the power cell will be in the next section. Alright. Well, let me know where it is because I don't want to miss it. I want all the help I can get, I guess. So. That's why I've allowed backseat gaming. <laughs> I've allowed the backseat gaming tag because, uh, yeah. That's how I got this far. <laughs> ah. Elevators non-operational. I'll tell you what area is accessible. Stairwells have collapsed. Cool. But we have to get up there to Gaia. Right. Cool. Uh, did I get all this shit? Or is that stuff I can't fit? Oh yeah, the health potion can't fit. Uh, yeah, metal shards we can take. Okay, cool, cool. Alright. Uh -huh. All right, let's go this way. See what we can loot. Anything? Nothing there. Oh, nice. Okay. Got some simulation results. Uh, anything over here? Nope. Hello, oh, I'm Margot Shen, Jesus and this Christ. is Scare the shit out of me. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing the So Hephaestus is the one designing the robots, the, the last ones that thing we can we see. Want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So... Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon. But hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes. Time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. Which part? It's a little technical at places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. A derangement. I've seen these shapes before. In cauldrons. But of course. The birthing places of Gaia's machines. Nothing here.
Alright, flower we can't pick up. Nothing there. What have we got? So, upstairs. Yep. Right, let's go loot this area. And there's nothing here to loot. Okay. Ah, oh, chop down. Come on, Ollie. Nothing there, nothing there, cool. Oh, anything there? Yes. Oh, so why'd you fall down for? Alloy, why did you fall down? I was having a look. Anyway. Okay, we can't break them. Cool. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobeck's office. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. Keep looking. Nope. Oh. Not that I thought bow and arrows were going to work, but you never know. Alright, we'll find our way in there. More clips. Careful now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, actually. I can't. I missed one. Okay, seven. Cool. Yep, can't really shoot from through here, I reckon. I don't think the arrows will go through here. This is some really sneaky, stealthy, thrilling shit. Get ready for some law loving. Oh, nice. So lots of cutscenes, huh? Are the cutscenes or law loving is collecting a lot of collectibles? Data points, right. Heaps, look at that. Okay, lots of data points. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. So you're Apollo. I am Samira Oh, Ebatu. this is Apollo. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, Lots of audio. but not yeah. least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula, by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need <laughs> to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. Yep. Is that why, that, that's why Alloy levels up, huh? Because that's the whole, that's what they created. The ability for these people to level up. I'm taking that loosely, by the way, as a pun. She said the words leveling up, so I've, I've drawn the link and gone, well, Alloy levels up. 
So. Oh man. There's gonna be a lot of shit to read after all. Like, after all this game is said and done, a lot of notes, a lot of audio logs to listen to, notes to read.